Welcome to Framework Fortune Crypto. I'm your host Ben and it's time for a crypto update. So, since the last time we had an update, we were watching this uptrend on Bitcoin. It cracked. That was a possibility and it's come back down to the overall uptrend. And I have it drawn out. This is what I'm expecting to happen. It to bounce off of this uptrend, making this double bottom this bottom here and then this would be a second bottom and so far we are seeing some buying pressure up off of the trend line on these candles we just need to see it continue to hold and actually start to bounce could bitcoin crack and go lower it is a possibility we are seeing so much craziness in all the markets the nasdaq Back down testing around 11.5. Could go down lower next week. We got a three-day weekend where the futures are going to be closed and the crypto markets are really going to be the only thing open. So we could see money come into the crypto markets and get a nice little rebound. Traders could get bored. You know, they're stock market traders. Prices are cheap for cryptos right now. And actually, there's been some pretty nice rips in the last couple of days. Uh, today, Rev is actually up 55% with a gap up. Yesterday, there was a couple on Coinbase I noticed that was up. We got RLC, which is up, having a bounce off that 75 cent area to $1.40. D-Race up 11%. Actually, all three of these, I believe, are NFT games, so all of them seeing a bounce. While everything else has been going down, IMX was actually testing a dollar resistance last night. The Immutable X platform, it came up to the top of its downward channel, testing that. Actually got a little move all the way up to $1. five. You can see it made a little double top, selling back down to $0.90 cents today. But it does have this 10-day uh, moving average right there below it. This is looking like a possible inverse head and shoulders so you got shoulder here head here another shoulder which the break of this downward channel would be the break of this head and shoulders we could see imx start to really turn bullish and i would not be surprised as they've added dc hero comics uh, to the imx nfts marketplace as well as the Ember Sword launch that's been happening, the migration, and the Alluvium land sale that was successful and sold completely out. All those NFTs are trading on the Immutable X marketplace, and the staking for Immutable X is now live. So there's a lot of reasons, if you're following this project, to be bullish on it, even in this down market. Play, which is another one yesterday, had this nice spike. Hit a low of 31 cents, but spiked all the way to 75 cents. That's a 40 cent move in one day. So there's buying coming into these games now that the tokens and the NFTs have gotten a lot cheaper. Cheap prices is leading to more of those games growing, which is leading to bigger economies which in the long run are going to lead to some type of price spikes from more people or volume, which is these bars down here if you're new to all this stuff, happening in that ecosystem. So more transactions could lead to more price spikes. And I'm not necessarily just talking about play. I'm just talking about the PDE games in general. So if you're one of my gods on chain people, you're saying, well, what about gods? Because it's definitely not coming back up. You know, I had that nice pop. We were watching it to keep this uptrend, but it's cracked this uptrend. We may see gods drop some more, and the reason why I think this may be is because they're doing this offering of the gods, this version of their staking, where they're going to be dropping quite a bit of gods token to players who've been playing a long time, investors, traders in the NFTs, all of that. Not everybody who receives those drops are going to want to keep their gods. They're not, they might not want to hodl. They might want to sell it for cash or for Ethereum or something else. They may want to buy some NFTs, some of the gods cards, to make their deck better so they can rank higher to generate higher rewards. But now that we have staking, we may not see as much of an impact as we have seen previously 
when more of this god supply is, has been released. But we don't have to speculate on the god's NFT market. We can actually come over here to Token Trove, a sovereign project that's been working with Immutable X and the NFT marketplace through the API data. They have now upgraded this to where we can see the total transactions. It is to see that it is in beta. But in the last 30 days, in Gods Unchained, we have had total sales volume of $1 million. Not too bad for a blockchain game. That was in 645,000 transactions. Pretty decent amount. But the average price was $1.57, and this is a price change of negative 55%. People are not buying the expensive gods cards right now even though they're cheaper than they have been they are buying a lot of the smaller cards and I would say this is because of the shine forge people are minting up trying to get those higher quality NFTs because the daily play to earn is coming out if they're minting up like that they're using gods token to mint so some of that supply is inevitably coming back in to the market we have seen a decrease in the nft prices in the average price according to this but we haven't actually dropped below transaction volume from the beginning of april it was about two let's see 21,000 april 3rd we look at today july 1st there's about 19,000 yesterday there's about 19,000 but this is a nice little tool now to be able to see how much average sales are going on and volume in that average price and that price percent change and this is not only on gods this is on anything else in the immutable x marketplace so if you want to look at alluvium lands the last seven days you can see they've had 355k in total sales volume at an average price of 2000 of course the cheapest land you can get for alluvium is about 500 bucks uh, worth of Ethereum and the cheapest gods card you can get is you know fractions of a penny for some of them so there's a big difference there in just the NFT but this is a nice tool across all of the Immutable X marketplace see some new projects popping up there Vi Worlds may be a new game we may have to check out speaking of Alluvium Alluvium has dropped really hard down to $121 is the cheapest that Alluvium has been and this usually happens with newer games when they come out. We're seeing them with gods, but all these games have come out right before or right after the crash in January started for cryptos and all the markets. So a lot of people are calling rug pulls. I wouldn't go all that far to say rug pulls. I just say we have not seen the gaming PD NFT sector have a bull market run yet because most of these projects tokens and coins are so new cosmos ecosystem i actually drew that same double bottom that i was looking for but adam started actually rebounding quicker if that can continue to climb up this trend line we may see adam start to push back above ten dollars now osmo's still holding around that 80 cent area but i expect with adam pushing up if it does get up that ten dollar area we'll see a boost in a lot of the projects Juno still climbing nicely up its trend line does have to break that downtrend but very close to it testing it actually at the moment. PKT still downtrending I was just in the PKT town hall yesterday the first ever one shout out to Jeremy Berger for putting that on if you're not in the PKT ecosystem yet go down in the description below hit that join their discord also the framework fortune discord while you're at it and join the PKT network. Start mining PKT, be a part of trying to bring in decentralized internet for all that cannot be turned off by anybody. And there's a lot of excitement around PKT in that town hall yesterday from developers, from investors, from people all across the PKT network as a lot of the things they've been working on on that blockchain are starting to come to fruition because cryptos are down right now and there's not a ton of mining pools yet in pkt mining rewards are actually pretty high on pkt at the moment and you don't need an actual machine to mine pkt you can follow the links below in the description 
of how to set it up. There's a video here on the channel that is a very quick setup to get that miner going. But so Solana was another one we were watching on that uptrend. I've been saying I'm iffy on Solana, but EV.io and Fractal, that NFT marketplace, is actually coming along pretty well. They have quite a bit of games on here, uh, quite a bit of volume going in their NFT market. Not as much as you see right there 12 seconds ago, something was bought there, some big shot boxes. So I still don't know how I feel about it, but mm, eh, it's, it's growing on me. Now another altcoin with a spike to mention is NMR. It's involved in the stock market. You got algorithms trading stocks. It had a, spot, a nice spike the last two days going from $9 all the way up to 40 yesterday. Having a little pullback today to that $20 area. But those type of big moves, we are starting to see some nice hot altcoin rips. Now, if we go over to the altcoin season index, just taking a look on the year, we have a double bottom where we've bounced right off of this Bitcoin year tab twice. And we are pushing up, making a higher high and just having a pullback at the moment. So we could, you know, we're pretty low. Anytime altcoins usually get down in this area, they start to bounce. And that double bottom is a pretty decent sign. So. But that's it for this crypto update. And I will be doing some more streaming of some of the PDE games, especially Gods Unchained, later at night. And we'll start that probably tonight or tomorrow night with the Gods Unchained weekend rank stream. So, appreciate everybody joining me as always. Stay safe out there. Until next time.